In Eclipse, which is part of Platz Analytics, uh, we're thinking about the long-term uh, European gas supply mix and we're developing a, a new forecast of European hub prices um, as we develop our next long-term gas report, which is due out in the next month or so. Um, and what we see really is the market going through three phases. Uh, we see a period of oversupply as um, healthy indigenous production uh, remains and we see uh, a global surplus of LNG coming to European markets. Um, we then see a period of transition uh, around the mid-2020s as the European market starts to tighten and we see a return of seasonality to prices uh, and an increase in prices in real terms. And then through the 2030s we really see a period of uh, stability where the market reaches a new balance and uh, indigenous production reaches a, a lower but stable uh, volume and that's compensated for by uh, Russian volumes and, and LNG. Um, and as part of this we're really thinking about what are some of the key, key uncertainties and key questions that we need to consider. Uh, so things like um, is uh, residential and industrial demand really in decline? Um, do we really think that um, the rough storage facility is in trouble and may not return? And if it does return, could it return at reduced capacity? Or could this actually mean the end of long range storage uh, in the UK completely? Um, is, in Dutch, is indigenous production in terminal decline? Uh, we think it probably is, but um, other organisations like the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate have a much more bullish view of uh, sustained long-term North Sea uh, production on the Norwegian continental shelf. Um, and then finally, what about the wider uh, commodity price mix? Uh, how do uh, Henry Hub, coal and oil prices uh, play a part in influencing European gas prices? And uh, if they do, what does that mean for, um, for European prices? So all these things and other things we're looking at and we'll continue to develop in our, in our forthcoming long-term report.